What are the MITRE ATT&CK product evaluations? MITRE ATT&CK product evaluations show how security tools deal with real-life attack simulations based on real-life attackers. The evaluations showcase security product capabilities while avoiding any scores, rankings, or comparisons. The results can be difficult to interpret at a glance since there is no winning score. So what is MITRE looking for? Their insights can be broken down into three questions. First, what malicious activity did the product see and alert on? Second, what relevant context was provided about the malicious activity? Third, how fast did the product gather relevant information about the malicious activity? In order to answer these questions, a real-life attack is recreated using the techniques in the attack framework. Each step is assessed based on any of the six different detection types. When the product is unable to collect any information related to malicious activity, it is given a none type. This is always a bad thing. When the product provides some minimally processed data that might indicate malicious activity, it is given a telemetry type. This is the data collected in the background that might lead to an alert or assist security teams in a later investigation. This is always good to have as it indicates better visibility. When the product identifies malicious activity based on known hashes, IP addresses, C2 domains, or other known data, it is given an indicator of compromise type. When the product captures telemetry data and enriches it with additional information like rule name, labels, tags, or the particular technique, it is given an enrichment type. This is always good to have as it provides further clues for security teams and allows for an easier analysis. When the product alerts on suspicious behavior based on reported complex logic or a rule, it is given a general behavior type. This type of alert indicates anomalous, suspicious behavior but does not provide specific details. When the product detects suspicious behavior and provides a specific description of the activity, it is given a specific behavior type. Ideally, malicious activity should be given the appropriate detection for its behavior. This means that not every detection is aiming to be a specific or general behavior alert. If each malicious activity is identified properly, you can avoid over-alerting and subsequent alert fatigue. Each one of these detection types can be assigned to any of the following modifiers depending on how the product detected the malicious activity. If the product is not able to detect malicious activity in real time or near real time, it's given a delayed modifier. If the product is not able to detect malicious activity without a configuration change, it is given a configuration change modifier. If the product determines an activity is malicious by association, as in it is highly suspicious due to its association with a confirmed malicious activity, it is given a tainted modifier. These associations are often beneficial to a security team. These detection types and modifiers come together to give a clear picture of how effectively the product identifies malicious activity. It offers unbiased, raw data for interpretation by companies, government organizations, and threat hunters looking to identify the best vendor for their needs. To learn more about MITRE ATT&CK, head to our website, cyberreason.com slash MITRE ATT&CK.